Hello, callers, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on, on the latest developing stories. We start with this transfer news claiming that Barcelona are planning 100 million euro swoop for this Newcastle sensation, Bruno Guimaraes. According to English sources, we are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then, secondly, Talking about Rafinha, it has been reported that the Barca winger is not considering a summer exit amid Chelsea and Newcastle United links. We are also going to be discussing more on that report. So guys, as we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Sergio Busquets is set to play, did play his final match yesterday at Spotify Camp Nou. The Spaniard will leave Barca at the end of the season and his exit marks the end of an era in the Catalan midfield. Pedri, Frankie de Jong and Gavi are special talents in their own right and it is not surprising that they are seen as heirs to Xavi Hernandez and Andres Iniesta. Um, it is only Sergio Busquets' role thus, which remains without a natural replacement. According to reports from the Times, the Catalans are eyeing a move for Newcastle United star Bruno Guimaraes. The midfielder signed for the Magpies in January last year for a fee of about 42 million euros and has gone on to be a massive part of Eddie Howe's team that secured a berth in next season's UEFA Champions League. The Brazilian, however, will not come cheap. Barcelona will have to shell out close to 100 million euros for the midfielder services, and the report adds that the Blaugranas are not deterred by the price tag. Xavi has maintained multiple times that signing a new pivot is his top priority for the coming transfer window. If Barcelona are to spend big on any position in June, it would likely be defensive midfield. Gumeres is capable of playing both as a deep line playmaker as well as higher up the field. He is known for his impeccable passing range, especially his vertical passes that can slice through complete defenses. Further, he can play both as a double pivot and a single pivot. In 31 Premier League appearances for Newcastle this season, the Brazilian has scored 4 goals and provided 5 assists. He averages 1.4 key passes per game and he has created two big chances. Defensively, his statistics are impressive. The 25-year-old averages 11 defensive actions per game, winning more than 50% of his duels. That is a great um, statistics by any player in his position. Of course, Bruno Gomeres is a talented player. Barcelona have been eyeing him. This is not the first time we have been Talking about Bruno Grimeres being linked to Barca um, and talking about the way Newcastle are valuing him for 100 million. One might think that Barca will run away from such a price, but it looks as though Barca are still showing interest in him and it's going to be very complicated. Busquets departed yesterday after bidding good farewell at Camp Nou in what was the last game in Barca Colors, of course, which means Barca are looking for a replacement at all costs before next season kicks off and among the many players that we have been discussing about you know since Busquets um, announced his departure you know Bruno Gomeres has been hardly mentioned by many by many newspapers and Barca still keep an eye on him no doubt about that he has been playing so well this season he has been having a good performance helping Newcastle United to to take the fourth position and qualify for UEFA Champions League, what a great season they had. And of course, reports are saying that Newcastle are valuing the player for up to 100 million. And uh, this report saying that Barca are not being deterred by that amount. They are not scared by that amount. But of course, we know Barca can never, in this state of, of, of our finance now, we can never splash 100 million on any single player, not one day. We can't do that. Um, of course, if that price remains like that, if Newcastle are insisting on that price, then it won't be any surprise that Barcelona will have to look elsewhere. We've well, been talking about other top targets like Sofian Amrabat, talking about Ilkay Gondogan, 
I've been talking about Martin Zubimendi. Of course, those are players that none of them are, are worth up to 100 million. Of course, Zubimendi is a player that 60 million euro that Sociedad have been asking have been a big issue for us. Then talk less of 100 million. How can Barca even pay such an amount? Of course, but the thing is, it is clear that Barca must buy a new midfielder, a new DM, let me put it that way, because Javi himself has clearly made it to the media that, look, my priority right now will be a defensive midfielder. Um, we need to get one. Even though personally, as a Barca fan, I don't think if Barca don't sign a DM, mean we have a bad season. Because we have Frank Casey and Frankie De Jong, who are also DMs, for crying out loud. But Barca will look, since they know that Busquets has a special way of playing, like the Barca type of GM, they have identified targets who have similar profiles to Busquets. And that is why they don't want to consider Frankie de Jong as any replacement for Busquets in the future. Then on to the final story of discussion. With the 2022-23 season all but over, the summer transfer window is soon set to take center stage in Europe. And Barca could be involved in yet another eventful window depending on how their financial fair play situation evolves there are likely to be some notable exits in the summer beyond those of Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba who said goodbye to the club yesterday night after the game against Mallorca given the need for big sales in order to achieve fair play Rafinha has been mentioned as a possible option that could be offloaded in if top players or if top offers where to arrive, the 26-year-old Brazilian has plenty of admirers in the Premier League with the likes of Newcastle United and Chelsea credited with interest. However, according to Alex Pintanel, as things stand, Rafinha will not leave Barca in the summer. The winger is not considering an exit from the club and neither is scam. Instead, the only thing that is on his mind is succeeding with the Catalans, signed from Leeds United last year in a deal worth 58 million euros plus add-ons, Rafinha has enjoyed an impressive debut campaign at Barcelona. He has produced a return of 10 goals and 12 assists from 48 matches in all competitions, making some valuable contributions along the way. Despite that, the rumor mill had been linking him with an exit owing to the market he has in the Premier League and Barcelona's need to sell high. However, Rafinha has no interest in leaving Barcelona as things stand, while it has also been reported that manager Xavi Hernandez also does not want to see the winger be sold in the summer, with Rafinha expected to stay and there have been moves made for Yannick Carrasco and Messi. It may end up spelling trouble for the likes of Ansu Fati and Ferran Torres, who could be shown the exit doors. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.